Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Mix. I've got a Fusion 360 quick tip for you. I'm going to show you how to redefine a sketch plane. Now, this is a feature that's been very useful to me, so I wanted to pass it along. We've all been there when we spend all this time creating a sketch, dimensioning it, putting our constraints, our patterns, and then we click stop sketch and we realize, ah, crap, I sketched on the wrong plane. Um, so if you don't know this feature, what you may try to do is, you know, delete the sketch or undo and then spend all that time recreating it. So let me show you how to avoid that. To demonstrate this feature, let's look at a simple design here. Let's say you wanted to make this model. It's basically an extruded rectangle tapered on top with a hole here going through the top. So let's create a new design. I'll click on the little plus sign here and create a sketch on my XY plane. I'll hit R for a rectangle and just create a sketch here, stop the sketch and E for extrude. I'm going to extrude this up and use this little widget here to give it that taper and we'll click OK and now I'll create a sketch and I want to create that sketch on top here but this is where the mistake often happens right so you want to select this top surface but you accidentally click off to the side or maybe you click on this plane here uh, that XY plane and you can see why this mistake is easy to make because it looks like I'm sketching on this surface here it's hard to tell because it's a top-down view so I'll continue sketching I'll make my circle here it'll be 10 millimeters give it a dimension and let's say I want to put it in the middle here so I'll hit L for line and let's create a line here and make that a construction line and then I'll use my midpoint constraint to constrain the midpoint of the circle to this line so we'll keep it at that we have a circle right in the middle I'll click stop sketch and then I'll go to extrude that and it's at this point that I realize oh man I, I made that at the bottom here I, I used the wrong plane I wanted to make it on top so normally the way I would actually solve this is I'd say, you know what, I would just say E for extrude. I'm going to extrude this. But instead of choosing uh, this surface here to start, I can actually go up here and choose my start profile plane and go to from object and go up here and extrude down that way. And that would solve the problem, but that's not what I want to show you today. So let me just undo that um, because there are times where you want a certain sketch to be in a certain plane. Um, you may have your reason for it. Maybe it's organization or you want to do something with it after. Um, but you don't always want to take that shortcut where you can just say, well, let me just do from object and extrude it from that surface. So here's the solution I want to show you. You can simply go to your timeline, select that feature, that sketch feature, right click and go to redefine sketch plane. Once I click on that, you'll get this dialog box that will ask you, well, which plane did you want to select? And you can just choose, you know, the plane you wanted. In this case, it's going to be this surface. And you can see right there that sketch moved right up and I'll click OK and there it is. And now I can simply select that profile and continue with my design. So you can see how straightforward that is. Now it works really well in situations like this where that plane is in a similar orientation and you are referencing those same lines. And that's where you're mainly going to make this mistake, right? It's easy to make when you're drawing on top of a certain plane that you didn't mean to select. Although you can also use it with a plane that's not directly on top. It can be a perpendicular plane. Just know that if it's in a different angle or the size is not the same as what you were dealing with before, you may have to go in and edit your constraints. Okay, so this example doesn't really show how powerful this feature is because it's just a circle and it's just as easy to delete and recreate that circle. But let's say you had something like this. Let's take a look at this sketch, right, where you've got a bunch of shapes here and you've got a bunch of dimensions and we've got a circular pattern. We've got some mirroring going on. So in a similar situation here, all you would have to do is right click here on that sketch, redefine sketch plane, select that top surface and there you go that sketch is moved up and then you can continue editing your design so this sketch for example you know it could take you a full five minutes to recreate this to add all your dimensions and your constraints and just redefining that sketch plane you know just takes a full you know two seconds to do Okay, there it is. I wanted to keep this one short and sweet. Hopefully, if you weren't aware of this feature, now you have a new tool in your tool belt to make your Fusion 360 designs a bit more efficient. As always, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more Fusion 360 quick tips. 
Have a good week. I'll see you next week.